So enterprises uh, consider using cloud infrastructure as their core IT strategy. Um, the applications are predominantly running in data center infrastructure as of now, but uh, we know that many enterprises are moving towards cloud uh, at this point of time. The modern applications are being developed as cloud ready, if not cloud native. Right? This kind of uh, landscapes focus more on hybrid integrations, you know, how do we really bring in uh, cloud as part of the landscape along with the data center uh, landscapes, right? So there are systems like ERP, SAP kind of systems still running in on-prem um, and there are new modern applications that are being developed for uh, cloud, right? How do we uh, marry both uh, so that the uh, data communication or data exchange between these two types of uh, landscapes are seamless? Right. So that is the idea. So even driven data integration is something that is really widening its popularity and uh, it is time for the developers to learn something uh, in the hybrid world. This video is actually to explain how Google Cloud can be accessed uh, from, uh, from a Java application that is running in on-prem and we will try to focus on a very important service uh, of Google which is PubSub. Right. In this video, we will also see, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, creation of a project, creation of uh, PubSub components like topic and subscriptions, um, its security uh, configurations for accessing the subscription. And finally, we'll develop a Java client using Spring Boot. So that is the idea. So let's first begin with uh, the Google side of activities. This is my uh, uh, project. Uh, this is my default project. I'm going to create a new project for this video. So let's begin. This um, this is going to be a new project. Let me call this as uh, marketing. Um, let's see whether I can create. I already created one project as marketing. Hopefully it allows me to do that. It takes a while before I start uh, creating resources in this new project even though it says the project is created uh, sometimes it doesn't allow me to uh, see whether uh, I can create new pub sub kind of resources in this new project but anyway let's let's go ahead and try creating first let, uh, let me change to the a new project what we created so this is my new project and I am going to create a new topic and this project right uh, so hopefully it allows me to create so it says enabling cloud pub sub API so whenever you create a new project you also need permissions so that you know you'll be able to access this particular service from um, outside like you know uh, client applications and things like that that is why you need uh, the api permissions this is by default let's create a new topic let's call this as uh, this is our uh, uh, marketing department project so let me create a topic that uh, the name of the topic you know can be anything but you know for for uh, following some sort of guidelines uh, we will follow uh, the first letter of the service which is topic here uh, followed by the name of the topic which is say invoice the idea is that you know we'll create a topic where we will push messages related to uh, sales transactions and we want to subscribe to this transactions you know maybe uh, the data whenever we get a data from uh, this topic you know we may have to persist in a data store and then we can use this for further analysis you know the use cases can be anything the idea is let us first create a topic um, let us publish some invoice related sales transactions into this topic and we will listen to this from a Java client 
that's all we are going to do in this video. So, first is uh, the topic uh, creation. So, it is being created right now. The topic is created, it has got nothing actually, no data is available. We have, we do not have, uh, we have not published any messages at all. So, it is just there. The next step is to create a, a subscription which will be listening to this topic. So, we cannot really listen to the topic directly. So, we need a uh, kind of a tunnel, uh, it is kind of a wrapper actually that would be used for listening to the topic. You can create as many subscriptions as possible and um, as long as the message is not acknowledged, it is available for other subscribers as well. So, let us first create um, a subscription. We call let us uh, following the same uh, guideline naming convention, we will start with yes and this is again invoice and it will ask for which topic you want to listen to and obviously we have only one topic and I am going to leave um, all the other attributes as they are. I do not, I just want to go with the default values. So, no changes here, just uh, create it. Uh, so, with this you know the subscription creation is complete, but at the same time we want to make this as a secured one. So, what we need to do is for this, first we need to create a um, an account which the applications can use. This is called service account. This is not a physical account like uh, your Gmail ID or something, but it is like uh, an ID that can be used only by the applications, right? So, more like an API key kind of uh, situation. So, let me create a new service account. I am going to call this account as SA, SA for service account and let us call this as PubSub. So, that means um, this account can access the PubSub whatever we have created, especially subscription in fact. So, we will, um, we can also provide some description account to access the messaging, something like that. So, there are three steps here. Uh, the first step is to provide the account details and the second step is to grant this service account access to the project. Even though this is optional, this is something that uh, we are planning to use. We will give only access to PubSub as an edit tab. Right? That means, uh, they do not, uh, this account does not have a full access. It can modify the topics and subscriptions and it can also publish and consume messages. I do not think it can create a new topic, right. So, that is the idea. So, once we give this role to this account, the next step is to create the uh, authentication, right, the private and public key uh, for this account. Remember, there is no login username or password for this account, for service accounts basically. So, all we need to do is you have to use a JSON file which uh, comes with uh, this each service account when it is getting created, not after that. It is just a one time uh, activity. So, when you say create key, it will ask you how do you want to download this file, right? This file must be downloaded only when you are creating the service account. After that, it, it is not possible. You have to create one more account um, and then create a new, new set of files, right? So, let me create this. It automatically goes into my downloads. Um, for now, I am not showing that, but let us keep it, keep that JSON file uh, for later access. I am not going to access it right now. Only when we are developing the Java application, uh, we need that JSON file. Otherwise, we do not need that in, in this right now. So, now that we have created the, we have downloaded the file, the last step is uh, to finish this. Unless you create, unless you click on this done button, the service account will not be created, right? So, many people forget this step. As soon as they download the keys, they think that the account is created. No, not really. So, you have to create this and now that your account is fully created and this will be your username. 
and this is the username that we are going to configure in our uh, uh, subscription right i am going back to the subscription and i am providing the permission by visiting this view permissions and we are going to add a member here the member name is nothing but the service account name right so as soon as you enter you get uh, these two values i think both are same you can just uh, do it like this and we have to give the same role permission here as well the pub sub editor right and then save it the permissions are updated you can even verify this uh, here that the service account has been given this permission right with this google cloud structure is ready we are now ready to move on to the java side right so that is the uh, next step